Brooklyn Hardware, LLC, provides this video as a guide to securing a product that is hung using the extruded aluminum hanging hardware, panel clip, king clip, and v-clip. Always select and use appropriate and adequate fasteners to ensure that the product you are installing is secure. Here's a presentation for how to hang your material using a panel clip. I'm going to start off with a story pole here. I'm going to mark the total length of my panels. I've got them marked right here. There's lines. And uh, the story pole is the exact same distance as the inset that we're going to be hanging it on. So here I have where I'm going to mark my bottom piece. Got that lined out right there. This is where I'm going to mark my top piece. Now this is the actual top of the inset where we're going to hang the material. We need to come down 5 eighths of an inch before we put our top piece in so we have room to move the material out and in. So we've got those and to start use that bottom line set my piece right here so I know where to hang my pairs. Set my pair in. Mark it. Now this piece is going to stay on our panel like that. We're going to inset it just a little bit. Got my holes in here. Mark those. We could do the same thing on the other side. Set down on our line. Slip in our pair. Mark our top piece. And we're going to inset this side too just a little bit. in here and here. So there's the bottom part and for the top I'm just going to set them both on the line that we had marked in there from the story pole. Let's see right here. Move it up, mark our holes. We're going to inset both of these two. I already have them marked. I'm going to keep it on that straight line. Mark my holes. Now our panel is ready to put our pairs on. Grab these and some screws. Drill them in, make sure that everything is square. Double check. Looks good. Okay. Next one. I have these holes already pre-drilled. Something you might want to do depending on what type of wood you're screwing into. Set my top two in. Just set the top line right across this line that we've already marked before. We want everything to sit evenly onto our strips that we're going to hang on our wall. So everything's nice and secure. There we go, and our panel is ready to hang, and we're going to go up to the wall. Here I have my story pole again. My bottom piece is going to sit flush inside here, and the gap in this spacing on the inside is just a little bigger than our material is, so we cut a 32nd of an inch shim place behind it so I can 
Let's set this one down. It's the easy one. Put it in. Some screws. For the top part, we use our story pull again. Yeah, marked. All right here's our gap distance. So we don't want our pair to stick above that. So I'm going to measure down. And when they're paired together, they're mated, they're three inches and a sixteenth long. So I'm bring down from that line, and I'm going to mark three and one sixteenth of an inch down here on my story pull. Going to be the bottom of the upper part where I'm going to hang the pan on the port pad. So that's going to sit right here. Again, I already have the holes pre drilled, so I'm going to set it in. Use my shim to started. Okay. Now I'm going to hang it up. The hole's pre-drilled. What you want to do in this case with your story pole, you'd have your mark here so you know where the bottom's going to sit. Make that, bring this down onto your wall and mark. You could also use a level and straight edge to set it all the way across. But I already got my holes pre-drilled so I don't need to do that. This in here. Screw that one in. Screw that one in. And you can double check. Make sure that they're level. And there it is. Put in my middle screw. Pick up your panel with your pairs. Slide it right in there. This is where the 5 8 of the inch helps. Slide it over where I want it. Lock it down in place. There it is. 